Your Honor, I'd like to call on, upon a witness, Banco's killer. You are Banco's killer, is that correct? Yes. So, what would you have to say about Macbeth and his intentions? Macbeth seen Banco as a threat, as his descendants would later be king. Macbeth even said, we have some mutual friends I don't want to lose, but take offense if I strike him myself. Macbeth was very convincing to do such an awful thing. I stabbed Banco 20 times and slit his throat, and Macbeth did not show a single shed of guilt. Thank you. You're welcome. Your Honor, I'd like to call upon Macbeth for questioning, please. Mrs. Macbeth, is it true that you would like to plead guilty for your crime? It is indeed. Now tell me, on the day of your introduction, as the Thane of Cawdor, who met you on your way home? The witches did, sir. And what exactly did they tell you? They told me that I would become Thane of Glamis, Thane of Cawdor, and eventually the king. Now tell me, did you believe any of these ideas? No, I didn't believe it when they first told me. However, you were appointed the Thane of Cawdor immediately after, is that correct? Yes, I was. Now, who knew about this meeting? Uh, Banco and my wife, Lady Macbeth. And after you returned home, what did your wife speak of? Uh, killing Duncan. And what exactly did you tell her? I told her we would talk about it later. Okay, and did you take this idea easily? Uh, I did not. During supper, I spent most of the time wrestling over the idea of killing the king and decided that I would not. Okay, and who was it that came to you and told you that you must? Lady Macbeth. Therefore, uh, sorry. And so therefore, whose idea was it to kill the king? Lady Macbeth. And would you have thought of this idea yourself? No, I would not have. Thank you, that is all for now. Your Honor, I'd like to call upon Macduff to the witness stand. So, Macduff, what did you notice about the unusual crime scene? What suspicions did you have? I had seen blood all over Macbeth's hands when he came out of the king's chamber. His face and clothes were smeared with both the attendants and the king's blood. He even said that he killed the king's attendants out of anger, but I believe that he was just covering up for something he did. Your Honor, I'd like to call upon Lady Macbeth's psychiatrist for questioning, please. So, tell me, Miss McConnell, how many times a week did you meet with Lady Macbeth? We met three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And during any of, your, uh, any of your meetings, did you ever notice anything strange about her? Each time she came to my office, she appeared to be a very consuasive person. Okay, and how so? Well, one time within the castle, she convinced her own brother, the king, from another area to fetch her some peaches from a coastal city three days ride away even though she had, he had his own messengers and peasants, peasants to, who would have done it for her. Interesting. And would you consider her persuasive power could have been used even on her own husband? I believe that if it was used on her own powerful brother, it could have effect anyone. Okay, thank you. Your Honor, I'd like to call on a police detective to the stand. So, what do you have to tell us about the scene of the crime? We have found DNA on the weapon that matches Macbeth's. Our station also knows that Macbeth is meant to be unstable. To an unnamed source, witnessed Macbeth coming out of the chamber with blood on his hands, on the hour and day that Duncan had been killed. And, as a side note, we found Macduff's, Macbeth's wife's fingerprints on the knives. Thank you. You're welcome. Your Honor, I'd like to call upon Macduff for questioning, please. So tell me, Mr. Macduff, during the battle against the Norwegians, what type of man was Macbeth? Well, to say simply, Macbeth was a great warrior. Okay, and would you consider his position important? He was a great commander, and yes, his position was very important. Okay, and following his actions, what position was appointed to him and by whom? After the battle, he was appointed Thane of Cawdor by King Duncan. Okay, and so therefore, Duncan gave him a higher power and made him stronger, is that correct? That is correct, yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Your Honor, I'd like to call upon Macbeth for questioning. Macbeth, were you aware that your wife had mental issues? No. So even though she was telling you to kill people, 
You were still not aware of this? I was still unaware. Okay. Your wife has a psychiatrist. Did you know this? No. So she went out three times a week and you yet still did not know this? I was at war. Fair enough. <laughs> Your Honor, we believe that Macbeth, Macbeth did what he was doing, knowing full well of his actions, knowing that it was wrong, and he was not influenced by Lady Macbeth at all. Your Honor, in conclusion to the case determining Macbeth's sentence, we would hope that these facts would help support his case. My client would like to plead guilty to the crime, however, wish for a lower sentence, considering he was psychically persuaded by his wife, Lady Macbeth. His fingerprints may have been found on the scene and Duncan's blood on his own clothing. However, the, the defense believes it was not Macbeth's fault, but his wife's work and actions.